I feel like eggs and orange juice. We need coffee. Pregnant. I'm Alexander. This is Cody. I'm an artist. I'm a comedian. Are you famous? Well, not really. I saw your thing on YouTube. Did you laugh? Yeah. How many times? Five. Peter and Killian, it's a pleasure to meet you. Killian, lovely to see you again. Good to see you again. Al. How are you keeping? Good. Well? Yeah? Good. good. <laughs> you have to look at each other just to reassure you. How much? Remind me, Peter. Am I, is it okay? Yeah. Um, okay. Congratulations on Get Up and Go. Thanks. Would you mind describing each other's characters no. uh, for the viewers, please? Sure. Um, so, uh, the film revolves around myself and Peter playing two best friends. <laughs> I'm Colleen, he is Alex. I will talk about him as Alex. Um, so, it's hard to talk about Alex, though, outside the context of Colleen. So, the two of them are sort of, kind of classic odd couple scenario to a degree. Do you really want to be that guy whose girlfriend is knocked up and he just legs it to London? Yeah, but I prefer to be him than the guy pushing a pram around wishing he was dead. Colleen is a kind of uh, guy who doesn't realise his own worth, you know, and who, probably given the time, would realise that, you know, he's a very talented human being and quite funny in the right surroundings. Um, and yeah, spends a lot of time living inside his own head and worries about things and kind of would go into a situation planning what he was going to say or do and if it didn't work out that way he might kind of abort. But um, mm. he also is a kind of very loyal person, a very good friend and you know, he would be there for you if you ever needed him for anything and which is where we find ourselves in the film. But um, so yeah, he just kind of overthinking things and over processing mm. ideas in his head and when it comes to girls like uh, he kind of obsesses about things and you know yeah, roman a romanticizes a bit about something as opposed to kind of yeah. it, letting it happen at the start of the film your character uh you look like you're having the best duvet day ever wrapped around look <laughs> you know walking around the house what would you both do in your perfect day off like if you had a really good chance i'd love to rewatch the wire you know i'd love to never have seen it mm. and to be sitting down to watch it again yeah. I'm watching, we're watching Sopranos. Yeah, so just literally doing nothing. Uh, the film has a <laughs> super... Doing nothing is just like sitting in a room. <laughs> just yeah. like staring at a wall. I'm having a great day. <laughs> Dab a bit in your neck. Apparently it's like nectar to them. Musty. That is disgusting. In terms of uh, the natural nectar that you use during the film uh, in an attempt to attract members of the opposite sex, uh, natural nectar. would this be... A technique that you've used in real life because uh, would you mind just describing what happens first of all I think it's your character Peter who suggests it and uh, is this something that you you know it's, life imitates art <laughs> no no no, no. I don't, I, no. I, I, yeah it'd be interesting to see if it works but uh, someone was talking to me about this the other night though that the natural pheromones uh, yeah and the, yeah, the yeah, problem yeah. is is that we all cover them up with like deodorants and and colognes and stuff and actually that it's it's uh, you Scientifically, you have. I'm actually starting to sound like your character, come but that's where you have a, a natural connection. attraction and connection to. So those things are actually really important, and yet we all try and cover them up all the time. Yeah, because it's funny. It's like uh, I know, like this is some friends of mine who wouldn't really um, use any kind of forms of uh, washing materials, <laughs> um, but still manage to get women. You know, and it's maybe that because actually some women do kind of go. He smells like him, as opposed to Ralph Lauren, or as opposed to Tommy Hilfiger, as I opposed how to they smell. Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, do you think they wear their own colognes? Those dudes. Eau de Beau. Oh, it was. Eau de Beau. Eau de that's Beau. what it's. That's what it's called. It's just like you run around for hours in a cage, and then you just kind of drip. <laughs> in a cage. In a cage. Now, Killing, your character is a stand-up comedian, or wannabe really? stand-up comedian. Mm. Uh, so, do both of you have a, a go-to joke that you like to try out? Do a joke. Go on. Oh no, I'm not good at jokes. I'm okay. Why did the cross-eyed teacher get fired? Why? She couldn't control her pupils. That's good. <laughs> I like that. And Peter, your character is a wannabe rock god. So what are your karaoke songs of choice? Johnny Be Good. Oh. I'm always trying to read. I'm always trying to, to find that Back to the Future moment in real life. Uh, Basically. That's... Walk of Life. By Dire Straits, yeah. <laughs> the keyboards. You got time to sing an oldie goldie. It's kind of a good I'd idea. love to see that. <laughs> Anytime you want me. We'll go karaoke afterwards. Yeah, let's go. Um, moving on from the film, uh, 
series six of Love Hate has been confirmed. Uh, what can you not tell us about that? What? Well, basically, uh, That's it's not true. It is, yeah, it is. Uh, oh, right, so I didn't so know that. That's literally a new piece of information for me. It's a lie. Uh, but basically, what is going to happen is that a new character comes into play, and uh, his character is by the name of Donny, and uh, Donny Carabosilis, and he's a bowler, and he surfed the beaches of uh, Pismo all the way to Ohio, and he was a good bowler and a good man. And uh, like so many men before his time, he was taken away from us. Um, so that's the most important thing. Donnie, Donnie is a big character in Love Hate. I think Tommy and, and Fran should go into Ireland. That's that'd my, be amazing. That's my thing. I want to see more Big Lebowski storylines in there as well. That'd, that'd be good. <laughs> well, but uh, but interrailing would be fantastic as well. Yeah. You know, but it'd be nice. It would be nice. <laughs> I just feel like things are beginning to turn for me. Come a or come a